Hello, welcome to Pythagorean Theorem. In this case, is you will be finding the area in the perimeter of triangles and then being able to solve real-world problems. How do I use it to solve area and perimeter problems? Well, here's an example for you. Um, do be aware, though, that you can use this to not just for triangles. You can find it using other shapes as long as there are triangles involved. Um, so start with what you know. Um, here is a right angle, so this is going to be our A or B, it doesn't really matter. This is going to be B from here to here. Um, this would be another B as well, and then both of these would be our C's. Um, and we can use that to find the perimeter and the area of the small triangles. Um, and the large triangle as well, depending upon what the question's asking for. Um, so we'll start with our small triangle here. So A is 4, so 4 squared plus B squared equals 5 squared. So we have 16 plus B squared equals 25. Subtract 16 on both sides. B squared equals 9, so B equals 3. So the length right here is 3, um, which then means that our perimeter for the small triangle would be 5 plus 3 plus 4, which would be 12. And the area would be 1 half base, so 1 half times 3 times our height of 4, which means our area is 6, and both of these would be meters, and then meters squared for area. Um, then we can use it to find the perimeter and area of the um, somewhat bigger triangle. So we have 4 squared plus b squared equals 8.5 squared. So 16 plus b squared equals 72.25. Then we're going to subtract 16 and b squared equals 56.25, which means then that b equals 7.5 meters, and we can use that information to find the rest of the information. So the slightly bigger triangle, the perimeter, would be 4 plus 8.5 plus 7.5, which would give us 20, and then our area would be 1 half our base, which was 7.5, times our height, which is 4, which means the area would be 15 meters squared. This would be meters. Um, and then finally, you can take that to find the um, area and perimeter of the entire thing. Um, so you would take your perimeter would be 5 plus the 8.5. And then to be the whole length here, it would be both Bs combined. So you take that 3 plus your 7.5 to find your perimeter. Area, it would be one half your base, which would be the three and the seven and a half combined, times your height, which is four. So perimeter would be 24 meters of the whole triangle. Area would then be 21 meters squared for the entire thing. How do I use the Pythagorean theorem to solve real world problems. The biggest thing I can tell you is draw pictures. So a plane flies in a straight line to Jackson, Jacksonville. So here's Jacksonville. Here's my airplane. Um, it is 100 miles east and 150 miles north of the point of departure. So if it departed here, that means Jacksonville is 100 miles east. So this would be 100 and then 150 north. Um, so how far did the plane fly? Now I can use the Pythagorean theorem. So um, this would be my right angle. That makes this C. So 100 squared plus 150 squared equals C squared. So I have 10,000 plus 22,500 equals C squared. Add those together and you get 32,500 equals c squared. Square root that, and c will be about 180.28, and then miles. Um, so how far did this plane fly? About 180 miles. 
your turn. Please find the area in the perimeter of the smaller triangles. Not the larger, but the smaller. We will go over these answers in class, so come prepared. This is the end of your video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.